So in this very short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download, install Site of PostgreSQL database and then create a database and create tables. So go to Google and type PostgreSQL download. Now this is very important because you need to download the correct package for your operating system. Now if you look at this place, you see a number of things. You have um, this download here. But what you are going to do is to simply go to your operating system. For me, I'm using Mac, so I'm going to go to Mac OS. And here again, you need to be very careful. Don't use this one. Simply go up and go to the download the installer right here. So from here, you now see the list of, uh, of, of installers right here. For me, I'm using Mac, as I mentioned. So I'm going to download uh, this version here, 13.4. Now the download uh, starts and you can see it's 269 MB and it downloads. It's, if it's in Windows, you also have the installer, the MSI installer and simply go ahead to double click on it to begin the installation. And the installation is quite straightforward, but one thing that may be different might be the configuration. So, so this installer and I'm going to simply double click to begin the installation. It asks me for my password. I'm going to enter my password and then the installation will continue. Here is the installation wizard. So I'm going to click on next and you can see that this installation di directory is automatically loaded here. So I'm going to just go next. Everything here should be uh, selected. I'm going to go next. Everything should be left uh, default. So I'm going to go next. And now you need to specify the uh, the root password. So I'm going to click on next and this port should be default 5432. I'm going to leave everything the way it is and then I'm going to click on next and allow the installation to continue. Right, so you can see that the installation completed successfully and I'm going to click on finish right now. So now that this setup is complete, I, sh I should have on my desktop the icon for PostgreSQL. So if I scroll this way and scroll once more, you can see here we have PG admin 4. I'm going to just open it so that we can actually start creating a database in PostgreSQL. So at the startup, it's going to ask you for the password. So you're going to enter the password that you use when you were, when you were uh, uh, doing the installation. So I'm going to enter the password and click on OK and that is fine. So once it opens like this, you are going to go to localhost and enter the same password that we used. So I'm clicking on save password and click on OK and you can see it's going to drop down something like this. Now I did create some database here but for you, you might actually see uh, this PostgreSQL is a database and a few other database. So to create a new database, right click on the database and click on create and choose database and give your, uh, your database a name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this tutorial DB, tutorial DB because we are going to create table inside tutorial DB and leave the owner to be default and click on save. Now in our tutorial DB, we have a number of things. Now you don't see tables here, but if you go down to schemas, you can see public, and then you can see our tables right here. Here in tables, there's nothing there. So right click and simply create a new table. I'm gonna create a table here. I'm gonna call it students. That's the name of my table. And I'm going to go to columns. After you create it, give the table a name, simply go to columns so that you can define the columns so I'm going to add a new column, I'm going to call first name and the data type is going to be it's going to be text or you can just choose character varying like this and I'm going to create another one, I'm going to call it last name and also choose character varying here now you can add a primary key. So if you want to add a primary key, just call it maybe ID and choose int here. Choose big int, that should be fine. And make it the primary key, maybe not null, and just save everything. Now I have a table called student. How do we insert data into it? To insert data into it, there are about two or three ways. So the first one is right click on the table and just choose um, you can choose view edit data, so all rows, 
And at this point, once you double click here, you can actually add data in here. So for instance, I want to add my first name, okay. So now I've entered two items in the database. I told you there is a number of ways you can enter data. So the second way is to simply right click on it and choose um, and choose script, script, insert script. So once you go to insert script, it tells you blah, blah, blah. So you are going to enter here in single quotes, like you enter the names you want to enter and the ID maybe three and then click on this key here and you can see it inserted. So if I go to select data from here now, I'm going to view and edit data and say all rows, you can see for some reason the original ones were inserted. I don't know why it did not insert. But for you, I think you can try to insert it and uh, it's going to work. So I'm going to be stopping here. Uh, this is basically a beginner tutorial if you want to start learning how to uh, how to do uh, PostgreSQL, this, how to create database, set up PostgreSQL, create database and create table and insert data into it. So please, if this has been informative for you, please uh, subscribe to my channel below by clicking on the right subscribe button below. Also, leave me a comment if there is anything uh, you would like me to know. I remain times on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.